Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. I had recently done a review on a battery charger called the HTRC P10X2 and um, I got a couple comments from it and one of my commenters said that their P10X2 has been working great for a couple years and that I should try putting ring terminals on a battery and charging it from there to see if I get better results. So let's try it out. Okay, currently I am actually using the P10X2 because I want to discharge one of my 12 volt batteries for this test. And also I believe in my last test, I was only able to get uh, like 6.4 amps uh, at 12 volts from this charger. So we're gonna see if those results uh, get better with, with different connections. All right, so what I'm gonna be uh, using to create my cable is I've got two sections of uh, 10 gauge wire. I got two ring terminals. I believe they're 3 8 inch ring terminals for 10 gauge wire. I also have an XT60 connector. I'm gonna be soldering this uh, connector onto these wires. And uh, truth be told, I've only soldered about a half a dozen times. So my skills are beginner level. So let's try it out. Hmm. Okay, that's not working. Ah, God, I suck at this. All right, I decided to try a different, uh, a different soldering head. We'll see if that works better. Wow, actually that worked a lot better. So let's go ahead and do the other wire. Jesus. <laughs> nice. All right, so that one didn't solder on. All right, there's my soldering job right there. They're both, nope, this one's falling apart. So let's try it again. Okay, there's only so much solder you can put on there before it just gets ridiculous. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna put my finishing, my covering cap on and call it a day. Now that my soldering's done, I'm gonna go ahead and crimp on these uh, ring connectors and try out my new cord. I wanna make these cables roughly the same length. All right, and there it is. My new battery cable connection. So let's go ahead and uh, try it out. All right, well, moment of truth. Here is my new cable. I need to make sure and mark which one is positive and which one is negative, because I do not want to switch those up. So I'll do that before I put it on. But let's go ahead and test our battery charger on this battery right here. And the, right now the voltage of this battery is 13.3. It's showing 95% state of charge, but it needs at least 15 more amp hours to fill up. So hopefully we get a good test with that and if not i've got another battery i could try multiple batteries we'll do that so uh but let's try this one let's get let's do a base on this one with the 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 clamps that came with it and we are going to do a low medium high test so let's go ahead and change it to low let's see what we get okay looks like we're getting 1.4 let's go one more round okay 1.4 let's go to medium Oh, we got five amps there. Yep, five amps. Okay, now we're going high. And we should get 6.4. Oh, 6.5. Yep, 6.5. Okay. Oh, my God. Okay, well, after I realized that I had actually soldered the uh, male plug onto my wires instead of the female, I went ahead and cut it off. And I resoldered a female plug 
on there instead. And I went ahead and taped on um, the positive side so we know which one's positive. So let's go ahead and test this wire and see if it actually gets us better results. Plugging it into the same side and we are just gonna be hand tightening these. Okay, so first we're gonna try low and low looks like it gives us a 1.5 at 1.5. We'll try medium. Medium still looks like it gives us five amps. All right, and high, 6.5, 6.6. So it looks like 6.6 .6 amps. So let's go ahead and try it from the other side and see if that makes a difference. Here's the other side. We'll just do high, 6.5. 6.6 .6. okay so high looks like it still gives us 6.6 .6 for this battery so we're going to go ahead and try another battery and uh, see those results okay the other battery we're going to try out is this ampere time 50 amp hour battery it should be right around 80 percent so let's go ahead and try it with the clamps first okay so we're just going to do high. So here's the clamps. And it looks like we're getting 6.5 with the clamps. 6.4. Yep, 6.4, 6.5. Okay. And now let's try our cable that we built. All right. Wires are clamped on, going on high. We're at 6.5, 6.5, so no. Okay, so what I'm finding out, if you make your own cable and use uh, ring terminals instead of alligator clips, uh, I've tried two separate batteries and I am not getting any higher than 6.5 amps for 12 volt batteries. In my findings, I would not recommend trying to make your own cables to try to get better amperage out of your chargers. So if you have any questions, uh, please leave them in the comments. And thank you so much for watching this video. I really appreciate it. Y'all have a good night. Bye-bye.